since the spill. Animals are flowing into animal shelters even though oil has stopped flowing out of the well. 27 cats and two dogs went north to reduce overcrowding at the Denham Springs Animal Shelter and News 2's Rachel Frost gets answers on who they're going to. A ninth life came just in time for a group of cats who hit the road for a chance to find a permanent home. The number of cats and dogs at the Denham Springs Animal Shelter has been steadily rising since the oil spill. People have lost their jobs, people are having to move, people are not making as much money as they used to and are turning in their animals again in record numbers. They don't want to see them put to sleep and they don't want to see them go to a kill shelter so they are bringing them here and abandoning them in our parking lot. With too many animals and too few homes, the state stepped in to ask for help. We got a call from the Humane Society of Louisiana and a plea just asking us, like, is there anything that we can do to help alleviate some of the overcrowding? That's when PETA teamed up with U-SHIP, a company out of Austin that provides help on wheels, a free transportation service for nonprofit organizations. We just were looking for ways that we could help the Gulf Coast region after this spill. Even though these animals are not covered in oil, they are victims of this crisis. Volunteers loaded the cats in crates onto the back of the big blue truck, and two lucky dogs got to ride up front. The next stop, only a cat nap away, Norfolk, Virginia, where the cats and dogs will go to foster homes or be adopted. There's no doubt in our mind that all of these animals are going to be in a really nice place by tomorrow evening. Rachel Frost, WBRZ, Balanced News. To track the animals' drive to Virginia, go to the links page on our website, WBRZ.com. Plus, click the